Welcome back to Dario.io. My name is Dario Olu from Liar and I'm your loyal mentor. All right, in this video, we're going to be connected to our EC2 instance. And to do that, first of all, let me show you the uh, the PEM file that I downloaded previously. If you remember, the key pair we, we created while creating the virtual machine. Now, it's in my downloads folder and it's called dareec2.pem. Now, I'm, we're going to need the terminal to do this. So if you're on a Mac, OS this is how you're gonna do it if you're on a Windows computer I would show you in another video how to do that but let's get going so first thing you want to do is on your Mac keyboard you click on the hit on the command and space bar and that's gonna bring up this search bar you see here that says spotlight search okay and what I want to do is type type in terminal and there we go so I've got my terminal up I'm gonna enlarge this and increase the size so that you can see and it defaults into the directory called users directory.io which is the name of the logged in user now don't worry too much about the commands here just follow what I'm doing and in other videos we're actually gonna go deep into all the Linux commands from the basic remember it's zero to hero okay all right, so I'm gonna go into the downloads folder and LS means to list what's in there. And like I showed you before, uh, remember there was a backup folder and this is the file which I'm interested in. Remember when we hit on the connect button on the AWS console and I had to copy this in the previous video. This is exactly what we need to do again here so we need that command basically to connect and back to my terminal and i'm just going to paste that in and hit enter and basically this is not just going to connect out of the box like that and this uh i had to do this uh, on purpose so that i can show you how to troubleshoot some of the errors or the issues you might come across when you're trying to do this so to fix this we need to go back into our AWS console and in the console let's bring this up go to the security group section as you can see there's security groups right here and remember we selected the default option when we were trying to create the EC2 instance and we chose the default rather than creating a new security group I'm sure you remember that okay so click on that default and what we need to do is to go to actions we just select the security group go to actions edit inbound rule now the reason we couldn't connect is because we're saying type all traffic protocol or oh, oh. basically we should be able to get into this uh, EC2 instance because all traffic everything or oh, oh, oh. but then the source says custom so normally uh, you will put an IP address where you want to be able to connect from but in this instance we want to be able to connect from anywhere so select that and just put uh, anywhere rather than custom and if we save this rule we're pretty much good to go all right so let's go back into our terminal and that has uh, already timed out if i use the upper arrow on my keyboard it's going to bring back the last command and if i hit on enter holla now you see it's able to talk to our ec2 instance and i just want to type in yes because it's saying are you sure you want to connect to this instance yes i do want to connect and okay so you may not get this this is um also due to the fact that the private key is uh, not protected and to fix that we need to go back to the EC2 instance again in the console let's go back go back go back and we go to the actions and connect now remember I talked about a few other things that you might need to copy and paste to get things to work so this is what we need right here so your key must not be publicly viewable for SSH to work copy that let's paste you know and let's try again whoa did you see that so right now we are in our 
AWS virtual machine so I'm no longer on my Mac OS what this means is I'm currently in a virtual machine running somewhere in AWS data center okay I just cleared my screen don't be surprised that everything just went clear uh, that was control L on my keyboard and if I do something like LS as you can see there's nothing uh, previously on my Mac OS there was something and if I do something like hostname you can see the IP address so this is the private IP we'll get into all this uh, detail a little but then now we have a virtual machine to work with and we can go on crack on and start learning Linux I'm so excited so you are about to become a hero okay so sit tight and relax okay before we wrap up this video, I need to quickly show you how to stop your instance because if you don't, AWS is going to swipe out all your card. No, 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 I don't mean that, but basically if you don't stop your instances from running, you're going to have to stop paying for using the uh, AWS resources. So even though you're on a free tier, uh, but the free tier has limits. I'm not sure what figure it is, but if you have used up to about 750 hours after that you start getting billed for it so to be able to stop this instance I mean if you start working on it let's say you study every day uh, maybe you spend three hours learning Linux every day um, that's that should be enough for you to, to use for the whole year okay so if you click on the action go to instant state remember to click on the stop button now if you terminate that instance is gone forever okay and if you want to reboot that's more or less like restarting the computer so while you're still learning you can just stop and when you need to start learning again you click on the start and like I said before remember the IP address will always change every time you stop and start it in the next video we are going to start familiarizing ourselves with the Linux terminal so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so right now click on the notification bell so that you can get up-to-date content around DevOps project-based learning see you in the next video bye